Length check. Okay guys, so I'm back with another video about this mask. And so this is me trying it out. So here I go. I'm applying the mask on my hair. And it was really thin feeling on my hands. And when I applied it to my hair, it didn't feel that great, which is why I called it a protein treatment, because protein treatments usually don't feel that good when you put them on your hair. And so that's why I thought that that was the closest I could call it. But, um, so I was just applying it to my hair and I would recommend that your hair is detangled before you do this. My hair was detangled, but not like super, super detangled. Anyway, I just applied it to my hair. As you can see, I'm taking apart some like tangles in my hair. I'm kind of lightly finger combing while doing this. But my hair wasn't either soup, it wasn't really super soft when I put this in at first. So I was really concerned to see if this would even work and see if I was wasting my time recording this. But in the end resort, I got pretty good results. Here, so here I just took a bit more and applied it to my hair. I just flipped my hair over to make sure I was getting all of the sides because I didn't want to miss one single bit of my hair. And you guys probably can't see, but my hair was super defined and my curls were like definitely showing because usually my hair is just like a frizzy mess but my hair was so defined and my curls were showing i was so happy and i was like oh yes so then i started twisting it up to keep it in for a while since it was a mask so i was going to keep it in for like an hour or two so i just twisted up this section as you can see and i started on the other ones and also i know i need to cut my ends but uh i'm just like yeah i don't I don't even know why I'm not cutting them. So yeah, I'm just twisting it up and I am done with that section. I just wanted to show you guys one section really, really clearly because the rest is gonna be in fast motion so you won't be able to see. But um, yeah, it made my hair feel pretty bad at first but um, after a while you guys will see what happens. And what I say, I'm just putting some extra um, stuff on the twist before I do the rest. So I am just finishing up the rest of the sections. Um, I will be finishing them off camera. Three, two, one, and now I'm done. So I just put a shower cap on, you can put whatever, and let it sit there for like an hour or two. And now I'm just going to rinse it all off. Rinse it off of my head, mama. I'm going to rinse, 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 and more rinse it off. Um, it will smell like when you're putting it on, but it's just the apple cider vinegar. If you don't put apple cider vinegar, then it won't smell, but apple cider vinegar really um, I think is the part that makes it shiny and it defines my hair, so it's your choice. Um, the aloe vera also defines my hair, so that helps a lot. Um, I know that avocado has a lot of vitamins in it as well as a lot of protein, which is why I'd call it a protein treatment. I also know that shea butter contains, um, I'm pretty sure it is vitamin... E and vitamin D so there's that and it helps with a whole bunch of other stuff not just hair so shea butter is definitely something that I would recommend to have in your shelves um, and yeah I'm just finishing rinsing this out and then I will actually start washing my hair So I kind of failed at showing you guys that I was using Shea Moisture's, one of their 
Jamaican black castor oil uh, moisturizing shampoos and yeah I just use that to shampoo both the smell and just to clean my hair because I know that it was a bit dirty I think so I just went ahead and washed my hair and this was midweek so I wanted to use something that was going to not strip my hair completely and this was it I also wanted to soften my hair up because my hair got super soft after the one or two hours that I left it in the cap but then like once I rinsed it out it got a little bit not soft so I put this shampoo in it to soften it up a bit <laughs> So I was having hard troubles letting you guys see, but finally you guys can see. So um, now I'm just continuing the rest of my hair with the shampoo. I think this is like the last section or something, but I just continued. I made sure I scrubbed my scalp. If you're seeing like me putting the shampoo on my hair strands, I know people say don't put it on your hand strands, but... I just gave up with that. I didn't even care. So I just am putting it everywhere because my hair is actually dirty on my hair strands, actually, um, because I saw there was dirt on my hair strands. So yeah, I wanted to make sure to get that because that's the whole reason why I really was washing my hair because I saw there was dirt, not from the mask, but just from when I had my hair in some type of style. Um, and I didn't clean it properly when I had it in the style. So I really needed to get in there but um yeah I work in sections this is normally the amount of sections I work in sometimes I do four and I'm like yeah that's too much so I just divide them into two which you see here and so I usually end up with about eight sections and tell me guys oh my gosh why do I keep saying that let me got oh let me guys let me know what you guys do when you are washing whether it's midweek or um, just a regular wash day, but let me guys know <laughs> Let me know what you guys do So now you can see I styled my hair into twists and I'm putting my homemade aloe vera oil on my scalp and my twist and my ends, especially those areas, just my scalp, my edges, and my ends are the areas that I'm focusing on. Um, and yeah, I'm done for the night. I'm going to put this in a bun, put my soap uh, wrap over it and then go to sleep that's how much shedding I lost um, in the process I don't know if it's combined with the other hair that I've lost in the shower and all of that but yeah I'm just gonna put my hair in this bun put my silk covering on top of it and then go to sleep and here are some finishing photos of my finishing product of how the mask worked let me guys know what you think of it and yeah bye
Thank <laughs> you.